actually you right now are most probably one of the first people that are broadcasting the interior live. Well, we're not here for this one. We are for Malachi 3.0. Ande, whatever you want to talk about, please tell us. Tell us what's unfinished, what are the plans. Ande, you got yeah, the mic, um, let's go. Here's the car, it's back in its third version. Um, yeah, so the car's practically been gone since last year, 2nd of June. There was a whole big F up. I won't say what it was, but yeah. So, as it was gone, started getting things fixed. And I was like, you know what, because this is going to be my last time ever doing anything to the car, I was like, let me rather just build it up to something I would like, you know? And that's where we are at right now. So we did a, like a full on paint restoration, dent scratches and all those things. Obviously, it's still going to go for detailing, where they're going to polish and uh, paint corrected, and then maybe PPF. Then we went and got the Maxton diffuser. Okay, so most of these things that are on the car were already there, but due to the fact that the car was not running and there were still some technical issues and mechanical issues, we couldn't really put the stuff on because it's pointless having a car look like this if it doesn't run, you understand? So, got the diffuser on. Obviously, diffuser, the reason why I like this one specifically, is so it complements with the side skirts and the lip. Then we changed up the exhaust. The new exhaust, still the loudest, <laughs> but yeah, change up the exhaust with the new perforated tips. Instead of the black chrome like previously, we got the silver ones. And then yeah, got a new lip, maxed it. So this time around, I went with, um, what can I say, more like quality uh, products. Instead of obviously, oh no, someone has this. And because what I realized with those ones, Sometimes they tend to either start chipping, like the, this okay. black finish starts chipping off, or it starts, like, it's yeah, fighting. breaks or something. So you see with these lips, I'm gonna be honest with you, on Deadpool, we've had a few incidences whereby it's like, saw a hump on last minute or something, but still yeah, standing. So when they ask you why 5,000 over a 1.2 lip, there's your answer. Because at the end, I would have bought like four lips by now, but, you know? And then coming down to the interior, my pride and joy. <laughs> so it's not fully done to the T because we still need to get the ambient lighting done. We still need to get a few other stuff done, you know. But yeah, this is the pattern that I went for uh, when I bought the Recaro seats. This was the design I would have wanted on the seats with the color stitching. So unfortunately, I still wanted to proceed with the lime green, but the place that was doing the fabrication was like, they don't have light green. And if I wanted to get the lime green, I can't just buy a roll. I had to buy a box with 12 rolls of cotton inside. And I'm like, what? And it literally cost, I think they said, each roll was about 800 or so. So I was literally gonna be paying an arm and a leg for just something I was gonna use once. But then, um, yeah, we still have a few stuff that still need to get done up. So far, we only have the door panels and the seats. So uh, initially, I bought a separate set of door panels just so everything can get done. And the only thing I, I really had to take out, which was originally from the car, was the back seat. And then, yeah, so everything gets put together. And yeah, this is where we are for now. And then the engine bay. So, engine work wise, we took out the big turbo, went back to hybrid, because that's where the issue happened. Uh, the whole setup I had prior was what damaged the car, and yeah, unfortunately, uh, prevention could have been better. 
but yeah, it happened, and unfortunately, I had to <laughs> had to fight with the bank again <laughs> about why am I spending so much on the car. But yeah, um, this is where we are now. We've got full racing line and ECS carbon covers. So with the new color change since the interiors got the blue stitching, we went to the blue brake calipers to match obviously the car, hence the blue pipe also in the front. And then with the Motec wheels, well, this wheel was the only one that was brought into the country by Back Cafe. So I still have the only one. It's called the Motec, um, what is it? MCTR9 Revolution. Yeah, but it's the okay. version two of it. The version one didn't have the cover on the... Um, oh, the lug cover. Yeah, okay. it just had the nuts showing. So now it's fully covered. And yeah, still have to get the sound system done. Still need to get the ambient lighting, the whole boot setup needs to be done. So right now on the boot, it's just straight up um, uh, just the placement of the tank and the um, compressors. Oh, and a lot of people were asking, when am I going to get the air? Why don't I get air? It was always in the picture, but I didn't want to now spill out the beans and tell everyone what's happening until the car was done. And yeah, the young. Nice touch up, wiper delete racing line, and then we just change up the logos for the new R ones. But yeah, lucky we're getting it. I got one question. A lot of people say you gatekeeping the exhaust. So you've told people what exhaust this is. All right. So would you mind telling them your setup without giving too much away? Because a lot of people are like, oh, it's not his system, wada wada, but. Everyone no, who's no, seen your car you, knows you, you, your you know, sound's you, different. You, you know what the problem is? I'm not going to say I fabricated it. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm not going to take credit. I will forever give Dwayne credit at Rome just to say thank you for the assistance. But you must also understand why I say that it is a custom thing because I could have went to any other fabricator and picked them to still do the same job. It's just that my preference, obviously, from when I was still, maybe like in my teenage years, before actually owning my own personal car, I always used to look at the videos, like, mm. oh damn, the cars sound nice and yes. everything. And I think they were also the, one of the few at the time that were currently doing exhaust. So they had a lot of content yes. before you started having all these other new companies yeah. coming in now, you understand? So, I mean, there is a lot of good companies, but yeah. obviously my preference was with him. Yeah. Not gonna say, Oh, it's better than this one. No, yeah. It's my no. preference. So obviously, when I say that the system is custom, is in terms of, it wasn't just the thing of I got there. Okay, cool. Can I get an exhaust? Fine. Come back after four days. Walk out. You understand? Yeah. It was a whole thing of a sketch was done. Measurements were said. Okay, from there to this part, this how many millimeters we're gonna use, just so we can make sure that you don't lose power, but you get the sound and everything. Hence why when it's open, I can fully make as much noise, but when I want to close it, you know, and then some people prefer obviously to have um, resonators mm. for the sake of, um, what do you call this? The, the drone kind of and everything. While drop, yeah, yeah, well, for me, obviously, look, I'm, what can I say? I'm not in my now, Midlife crisis age. Let me say. You're not. You're not my age. Yeah. Yet. So like, you I'm, don't have I'm, a pink still, car I'm, I'm still young. I mean, I'm I'm 25, uh, turning 26 next year. So it's a few months from now. But um, I mean, for me, there's no like, oh my god, this is loud. Or I'm still obviously. So when I have a close, there is drone, but it's not as horrible that I couldn't pull off a trip from here to. Pumalanga or KZN or something. I can drive a car. You'd also be comfortable. You can even take a nap in the car. It's just that you will obviously hear it depending of if we're going down steep, 
then there's nothing but up steep and now the car needs to obviously add more to the, the rpm then you'll slightly hear but there's no rattling to like oh now the whole car vibrates and everything so yeah but besides that like i said not everyone has the exhaust so a lot of people have went in with yeah. golf sevens but they have not came out that, with the same thing that's what they want to know is this the only system on a 7r in the country yours or can wow. Dwayne wow. make wow. make one wow. make other 7r sound the no. same so, or is so, it unique so, so, to so, you so, 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 and that no. one so listen <laughs> the whole process of it was because when I spoke to him, we had an agreement and the agreement and whatever stays between me and him. Okay. So, hence I say, if ever anyone wants one, I would have to be the person to say, listen, can we make this again? Because oh, that's this what they want to know. Yeah, because okay. at the end of the okay. day. So if they come yeah. and say, listen, I but, want an under system from but, Dwayne. Yeah, so okay, cool. on Deadpool, we have the same setup, just that the exit is what is different. Mm. So the person who has Deadpool pay the price. They say, dude, I want this, how much? And I was like, there you go. I did it because at the end of the day, as I'm building Deadpool, as I've mentioned that it is a friend's car and the friend has trusted me enough to have me drive the car, do the stuff with the car and take some content for you guys with the car. Cause he's like, look, expose the car, show it out and do certain things, you understand? Yeah. So the fact that, he was willing to pay, like, okay, here you go. I had no reason to say no. Then again, it's business for Dwayne, and at the end of the day, I get to have someone else who's happy that I got what I wanted, you understand? So, For argument's sake, a ballpark figure, what does the under system go for? You don't have to give the exact figures, just like a rough, don't throw Dwayne off the bridge, but just like, so people have an idea of what yeah, the car so, sounds like right. and what you're gonna pay to get it so, to sound like that. we'll put it between, 30 and 40. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm not saying that minimum could be 30 or max could be 40. It's in between because you must remember there's differences of some people just take the ordinary tips that come standard. Whereby with these ones, I was also actually the first in the yes. country well, with Rogue to have this kind of setup. The heck setup. Yeah, so that's okay. what I'm saying. It depends. It's in between. Okay. You might even want the system with no valves. It's Someone cheaper. else might want it with valves okay. to cut down on costs or whatever the case okay. may be. But it's between those two prices. Okay, thank yeah, you. And either way, you must also remember, um, at the time when I got mine done, it was obviously cheaper because I think I got mine done in like... Yeah, a while before ago. Before COVID, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like yes, before COVID. Shot before so, COVID. obviously, when I bought... Um, what do you call this? Like, when, when I got mine done, it was way cheaper at the time. Yes. whereby now obviously still is increasing and, and whatever is. and obviously companies also need to cover rent and pay stuff so obviously the price is not going to be the same as what i once paid at the time but for now where we're standing like i said we can put it in between those two brackets because you must understand with that car just on its tips alone that was like six and a half k because those are oem rs3 tips well not oem in terms of audi but oem in terms of um the company that makes okay, uh, tips and supplies okay. them to all to your... VW kind of no, no, thing, no, no not like, um, what can I say? Like, let's say for instance, you have a, a company. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we don't want to mention company names due to yeah, not having yeah, any yeah. ties with them. But um, if, let's say your company runs, um, you make exhaust, and then there's someone who supplies these exhausts to all the big companies. That's ah. why the tips mostly look the same, but maybe the system is different. I get you. Yeah. Get so you. the company that manufactures those tips, that one, they cost it like six and a half. And on top of that, you still have the system. So he still could have opted just to keep the original tips, yes. but he still insisted, can I also get a different look? And I was like, cool, let's go for it. So he paid the price. Hmm. That's why I can tell you word for word, he's got the same tip, like the same system as mine. Like if I were to, show you this car underneath and show you that you see where the slight differences just change okay. but besides that everything else is the same so okay. like i said i'm not gatekeeping it you it's see? just if you really want to be as happy as i am <laughs> come on because at the end of the day you must remember there's it's like if you right now know how to do something or yeah. you figured something on your own even in as much as Yes, maybe the products you might use to do something are not yours. You have to go buy them, yes. but to be able to 
get the skill and everything or what it is that people like done. Yes. It was your efforts. So like I said, if my car never sounded this way, would there be a question of what exhaust is that? They wouldn't. You understand? So that's what I'm saying. Is it just, just as simple as that? It's okay. literally as simple as that. So guys, this is not the full video. This is more talk. We've let Andre talk. Yeah. We will do a full video of the car. I promise you where we'll have the exhaust. Yeah, we'll have the right drive now, with Andre. We don't have a tune in the car, so we can't even... And we literally can't even thrash it. Even if I wanted to make you guys hear it, nah. and I can't because there's no tune yet. So it's practically got all the bolt-ons, the additional stuff for <laughs> stage three, but there's no map tuning to it yet because I first had to drive the car in to see if everything is fine, see what areas is it still picking up and so forth. Because some of the wires that got damaged had to get replaced, sensors and so forth. So yeah, but this coming Tuesday, it's going in for tuning. So I, I'm praying by the end of November, we can actually shoot that other video and have a nice drive. Because everyone just asked me, when's Andre's car? So we came and showed you it, because yeah. you've sent some teasers. Yeah, but this I've, will be like I've the first teasers, ones. But, but only people on WhatsApp, because remember, I'm not on Instagram <laughs> yeah, right now. Exactly. So only people on WhatsApp and people on the Notorious 7.5R page. But yes. there's only like 15 people. So if anyone has seen it, it's most probably because they spotted me or someone took it from what I posted, but I haven't really revealed. Actually, you right now are most probably one of the first people that are broadcasting the interior live. People have done the outside, which obviously I can't now be like, oh no, don't, you know? But in terms of the interior, you actually are the first person right now to, and the engine bay, because I haven't shown that. We appreciate yeah, it, Andre. So, no, I kept my word, I told we you. We appreciate it. Just the telling the people, because I, I get DMs. When are we doing Andre's car? So, yeah. we are here. I contacted Andre, he said he's coming. We said, bro, we're going to drive with you. Can we drive with you? So, yeah. there's no rolling shots of your car, almost ever. Yeah. So, Literally. we got rolling shots. We so got videos that you don't even have of your car. My point so, it's exactly. exclusive. It's just showing you guys talking to Andre Redeeming where I've interrupted him. Yeah. And we're gonna do a full video when it's ready. We'll get the under drive. We'll go in the Most traffic, definitely. we'll go cause some Most trouble, definitely. make some noise. But, but I think I think it's it's preferably better though at night. Cause I think the problem is that okay now obviously people have seen the car in a way. Yes. So even if we were to have a drive at night, they can't really complain about oh we don't see this so because in a way you're kind of seeing it. But yes. When we have a night drive, because obviously it's cooler then and everything, I feel like you get to feel the car better. Because sometimes, imagine like now it's 30 That's degrees, hot, yeah. and then you try to thrash the car, things will start heating up. True, and true. yeah, so rather a night one would be definitely a good one. But we'll start it maybe as the sun is setting. I got a and spot. Then, yeah, then we'll definitely. Yeah, unlike last time when the guys like, oh no, you guys are not allowed. <laughs> Today no, we'll we get to shoot <laughs> for as long as we want without disturbance. So. Yeah. Yeah, because last time they actually disturbed us when we were yeah. still speaking about yes. the car and then we ended up just going for a drive, but... But yeah. I appreciate it, we appreciate it, and we'll see no, you next always, time. You know, Thanks, you know. guys. Enjoy Malachi 3.0. And yeah. Luke will put some nice shots of it and all of that. We'll see you guys next time. Definitely next time. Thanks, bro. No problem. I appreciate it.